The weight is dropping off. The weight is dropping off. My weight is, keeps coming down every single week. So I must be doing something right. Listen to me. Stop what you're doing right now and do what I'm doing. I'm going to show you five meals that I, I ate to lose weight this week. Yeah, so let's get into it. So first meal, very, very simple guys, is the egg in a hole. So what you need is a beef patty, like a burger beef patty. What you do, you just make a hole in the beef patty, like a donut shape, basically. Melt some butter in a pan and cook for a few minutes on each side of the patty. Crack the eggs, okay, in each of the patty. Crack the egg into the middle of the patty, the hole that you've made. And then add some salt, just put some salt, put some black pepper. You can also top it up with some cheese, some shredded cheese, or butter on top of it and yeah that's it that's 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 one meal that you can have second meal beef casserole beef casserole again another easy meal for you to have what you need is to cook the beef right the beef the ground beef we call it mince meat in here in the uk just cook it i've cooked mine already i, I buy it in bulk you know from costco and i just cook everything at the same time and everything okay so just make sure that you know you cook it well you know it's all nice and brown and all you need is just the beef you don't need the, the fats in it or the, the liquid or whatever that that comes out of it so make sure you drain that out as well then next is to mix six eggs okay i usually use six eggs and then you pour in half a cup of heavy cream you just add some salt and whisk it together and pour in the egg mixture um, with the heavy cream into the cooked ground beef that's in the pan give it a bit of shake just to make sure everything distributes evenly and put it in the oven for 150 celsius for 30 minutes and that's it there you go here is your beef casserole guys it is so delicious it's so 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 yum third meal is our double beef burger guys <laughs> this is again another easy one to make so you're going to need one slice of bacon right one slice of bacon and you're going to need two burger patties okay so first you just pop your bacon into the air fryer and whilst that's air frying all you do bring your two burger patties season it okay however you like um if you just want to use just salt you can you just use your seasoning that you like basically i normally sometimes use a taco seasoning i'm gonna put some the list of mixture thing that i do up somewhere here in the screen and yeah so i just mix that together season the two parties and then put the two parties in the air fryer again right notice how i'm not frying things i just use air fryers or oven so put in the air fryer for 10 minutes and that's it then you just need to assemble it right just assemble your beef burger so what you do you're going to need your lettuce yes we're using lettuce so we're not using the bread the burger bun so we're using the lettuce as the burger bun again we're reducing on the carbs guys start with your lettuce put one of the burger patty add your bacon add cheese you can also add your tomatoes if you want you can add some onions if you want or any seafood if you want a very optional you can add butter if you want as well to build your burger and then you add your second burger patty and cover it with more lettuce and that's it guys i usually just wrap it in the cling film you know just to put everything together and then slice it into half and there you go you guys there you go there you go this is so delicious so we're reducing on the carbs we're reducing on the carbs you guys this is this is yum it's so delicious guys you need to try it if anything try this one 
all right if you like to eat burgers <laughs> fourth meal fourth meal is scotch eggs <laughs> If you're anything like me, I love buying scotch egg, but they're full of uh, carbs. They're full of carbs, you know, as in the way that is normally done, you know. But we're going to limit that and I'll show you how I do mine. Very, very simple. Again, you need two beef patties and two boiled eggs and one bacon. Right. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do mine. So basically, just flatten your patty make sure it's nice and flat so we're going to season just one of the patty right with salt just salt only salt is enough right and then the other one we're not going to season it because we're going to be using bacon we're going to wrap bacon around it so you know bacon already has salt in it so yeah so we're not going to season it make sure you boil your eggs make sure you don't don't boil it too hard so that when because you're still going to put it in the oven so when it goes in the oven it, when it comes out it's not too hard the yolk is not too hard so just boil it for like nine minutes so it, it's still a bit soft inside first before you put in the oven right okay so then you put your eggs in the middle of the patty and just wrap it just wrap the patty round it just make sure you wrap it you know properly and that's it so that's the one for the first one very very easy guys so the second one we're gonna put the eggs the egg the boiled egg in the middle of the patty wrap it again for this time around guys we're wrapping the bacon around the patty so one bacon i split it into half the one half i wrapped it on one side round and the other second half of the bacon you wrap it on the other side you can always use um, a toothpick you know to pin it if you feel that it's not wrapping properly put in the oven for 150 celsius for 15 to 20 minutes and that's it there you go you have your scotch eggs delicious cut egg oh my god oh my god oh my god this is so delicious guys you need to try this this these things are very quick very very quick to do it's very easy <laughs> okay so try to make things at home you really need to try to make things at home let me show you guys so as you can see you guys this is the half of the scotch egg look how nice it looks honestly guys it's very very delicious you need to try it like i said bulk it up with vegetables sides any size that you can buck it up with even fruits salad you know buck it up just for it to be like a meal and then enjoy your nice protein your nice scotch eggs <laughs> the fifth is chicken wings <laughs> very very easy you guys i'm sure you guys know how to make chicken wings just basically wash your chicken pat it with a um, paper towel to take off excess water and then season it you can season it with that taco extra seasoning that i said earlier or season it however you like to season it don't fry it okay <laughs> just pop it into your air fryer if you like your chicken wings spicy just add some hot sauce after you air fried it and that's it compare it up with different things you can pair off with veggies salad again or you can just have it on its own with some sauce but you need to be very careful what sauce you're gonna have it with because some sauce actually contains sugar like all this barbecue sauce or sour cream you can have it with sour cream cottage cheese you know there's a lot of things you can pile it up with okay Well, another bonus and i have another one another one is basically just eggs and bacon well i use placenta in this one is it placenta or placenta i don't even know which however people pronounce it but it's all cut in little cubes so you can have it you can do that as bacon as well if you can find that where you live yeah so basically just put some butter in the pan as you can see guys i don't know if you've noticed i'm using a lot of butter not oil but if you want to use oil you can use avocado oil or olive oil those are the two oils that are actually good to lose weight right so i use butter um just melt some butter in the pan just grease it put your um chopped bacon or placenta into the pan just let it stir it's gonna release that fat in it as well sometimes i use up to six eggs if i just want to eat just eggs as a meal yeah you can you can just eat just eggs as a meal and whisk up to six eggs or four to six eggs and yeah just mix it together and that's there you go 
<laughs> that's it you've got yourself a rich high protein meal this is mainly what i've ate this week to be able to lose 3.2 pounds okay i hope this video was helpful i hope i provided value i hope you guys will try it <laughs> if you do let me know in the comments what you've been doing what you've been eating guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video bye guys